But more importantly, I did in fact find a hidden immunity idol. I am. I have it. It's good till the final five. Hopefully I can keep my mouth shut about it. Hopefully Kyle doesn't get too suspicious about it because he, I know he should have a clue because he was kidnapped last challenge. So fingers crossed. Hopefully he doesn't realize that I already have it. Hopefully Gabby didn't tell him that she gave the clue to me, but uh, only time will tell. Nobody has mentioned the clue that Gabby gave to anybody. It wasn't to me. And Maybe it was to Alex. I don't know. Probably not. I would say it was either John or Carrie is my guess who got it. Um, I haven't put too much thought into it at this particular moment, but it is something that is absolutely going to come up for everybody uh, very soon. So are you guys ready to get to your first individual immunity challenge? What? Yeah. We're not merging, though. Oh, you guys will be competing as individuals, but both tribes will go to tribal council and one person from each tribe will be safe from the vote. And just to, and okay. we're going to go ahead and get to your challenge. All right. So for your next challenge, you guys will be competing in a wall set. You will be you will have to have your legs at 90 degrees while Doing a being a wall sit position, all players will be holding a hula hoop above their head. The last one standing, or I guess sitting, from their each tribe will win individual immunity, safe from the boat. Where the, as for losers, tribal council and each of everyone else will be vulnerable at tribal council. The, and, and just to let you guys know, the um person sitting the longest for their tribe will win an advantage for their tribe to sit in on the other tribe's tribal council. So take that as you will. Maybe get some dynamics going to potential merge coming soon. I don't know, but take that as you will. Everyone, let's go ahead and get set up. We'll get ready. For individual immunity. Both tribes will be going to tribal council. Survivors ready? Go. Elijah, just make sure your hands are above your head. That's everyone's one warning. You don't want to be going home with this tribal. Interesting twist. You're going to have to dig deep, and Gabby's out. This could be interesting. You don't know where you stand. You want to make sure that you guys are going to be John's out. One person for Shayu, one person for Fishu out. Five remaining for each tribe. Kyle, can you go down a little bit lower for me? So one warning. Everyone looking pretty solid for the most part. Carrie's out. We have, and a lie right behind her is Elijah. That means we have uh, McKenna's out. Three people just dropped back to back to back. Everyone else looking pretty solid up there. Kyle, can you just put out your feet a little bit more so I can see? Uh, Lily's out. We have two people left for Shayu. Two people left for Shayu. Three people left for, um, four people left for Fishu. We could be here for a while. So Marvin, how's your day been going? <laughs> It's um, been going. I mean, I haven't slept, so. Mm, well, it's better for these games that you have fun. Yep. And Kyle is out. Which does, uh, yeah. Kyle's out, which means we're down to two. Two for Fishu, and. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, wait, hold on. Where am I? I can't see us on the screen. Oh, my God. Oh. Everyone looking pretty solid. Bill and Victoria, Bill, Victoria, Matt, Ian, Alex, all want individual immunity. You don't know. Oh. Alex drops. 
which I does mean Ian wins individual immunity for Shayu, and he drops, which means Fishu will be going to Tribal Council second, but who would have individual immunity? Hey, Jay, I got to get something for my... Jay, I got to get something for my sugar real quick. You're fine. All three of them looking solid. All in the same tribe. They already had the advantage of going to Tribal Council second. It just down to which one of them wants immunity more. From Bill's out, we are down to Matt and Victoria from Shy from Bishu for individual immunity. Bill, are you okay? Okay. Look good, Bill there. Both of them looking pretty solid. Matt's hands seem to get, be getting a little lower. Can he hang on? Victoria has been a statue this entire challenge. Matt's legs moving a little bit. Maybe that's just the cat. I don't know. Spencer always getting in the way of things here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not the camera, Spencer. <laughs> I can still see you, Matt. You're good. Turns the other way. Matt lucked out there. First little bit of movement for Victoria. You guys are going to have to dig deep. It's a matter of who wants it more. Matt, can you just get a tiny bit lower for me? Yeah. That's your one morning. And Matt, lift your arms up a little bit more. A little bit more if you could for me. You're like bouncing around your head. Yeah. No, it's fine. As long as this person said that, just we told him as long as it's about their head. Matt's arms are slipping below his head. I had to take my glasses. Sorry. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Both tribes are fi seriously fighting right now. Both of them obviously very much so want immunity. It's just a matter of who wants it more. Matt's starting to slip. Matt's legs starting to wobble. Victoria looks like she's struggling to hold on. This may come down to a couple seconds between the two. I can do this all day. Matt seems to be pretty confident himself. Victoria seems to be getting a little bit lower. She's breathing through it, though. That's what you got to do. Breathe through it and dig deep. You don't want to be going home tonight. Both starting to move a little bit. Matt adjusting a little bit. Victoria looks like she's in pain, just fighting through it. Keep on going. They already have the advantage. So going to travel council second. Just a matter of who is doing it. Matt's moving a lot now. Victoria's starting to slow her movement down a little bit.
Matt put his arms up a little higher. Matt, a little bit higher, just right there. Both moving, both doing a great job. They've been up here for a long time now. We could be here for a little bit more time. Could be here for a short amount of time. Just a matter of who's got them on at least. Both of them are looking fantastic up there. Great effort by both of you. Just make sure you stay there. Both seem to be moving a little bit. Both are hanging on. Both really want, don't want to be a travel tonight. Or vulnerable, rather. Both their calf muscles are seriously showing right now. How do you production, Michael? Anyone? What do you, you guys have eat lunch yet? What have you guys eaten for lunch? So I much pizza. Some Chinese food, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Matt's arm starting to get a little bit lower. And Victoria drops. And Matt wins individual immunity for Fishu. All right. Great effort by both of you guys. That was amazing. Um, all right. So here's how we're right. Oh, and by the way, there's no kidnapping, obviously, with both tribes going to tribal council. So everyone is vulnerable except for um, Matt and Ian tonight at tribal council for their respective tribes. You guys can get in the scramble. Yeah, uh, I feel great. My legs don't feel good, but I feel great. Um, yeah, I... So... <laughs> It sucked because like I had already done the push up challenge. So I feel like I'm being seen as like some physical beast when I think three other people on the other tribe did better than me. Like, I mean, to be fair, I feel like Alex is a possible vote. Um, and I wanted to beat him. Also, the fact that it was two people going home means I'm two steps forward in the game now. Um, yeah, I mean, I was contemplating throwing it, but I don't, I feel like if I threw it, it would have been pretty obvious. Like, I just, I just feel like from the push up thing, like people think that I'm going to win the endurance challenges. And this one, I, I think it was good that three people on uh, the other tribe w did better than me. So it, it, this vote, I'm definitely not going to vote for John and I'm not going to vote for Kyle. And I'm not going to vote for Carrie, but Elijah thinking that he was going last vote concerns me. I had no intention of voting Elijah, but I don't like that he's already worrisome and say this next vote isn't the merge and Alex does go home and we lose again. Like Elijah's going to know that he's getting the votes. So like, is it better to go with Elijah now? Or is it better to take out now, Alex now? Now it's a matter of just playing damage control with Alex. 
I've kind of planted the seed that like my bad. I literally said float out bow so many times in that last little bit when Carrie showed up. I forgot that wasn't supposed to be the real vote. I don't know if he's going to buy it, but we're going to find out. Probably not. I mean, I just tried to be middle of the pack. Like I hate wall sits so much. Like my quads were burning, um, and I I didn't even have to do them in skinny jeans. So, um, <laughs> but um, like I, I don't think it'll affect the vote that much. Really, I think it's more about the connections and then also like um, what happened last vote are the main driving factors. Honestly, I have no idea where the boat is going to go. Like if it was me, I would completely understand, probably should be, to be honest. But uh, if it was Alex, that would also make sense. I don't know. Not feeling great at all at this tribal council and would absolutely not be surprised if I was voted out. Ask around. I don't really know. Okay. Well, Alex, you told me it was going to be Ian was the other. Is that who you voted for? No, I voted for Bo. I don't know if Bo ended up switching or something. No, wait, well, he vote, Well, he did. He vote for you. Is that what you're saying? Well, Bo had to have voted for Carrie since there are only two names. Right. So, so did you, whoever. Bo told you Ian though. Originally, yeah. So is it like? Okay. I don't know if there was enough time for like someone else to come to him. I don't know. I don't really know. So I was a little bit upset at the last tribal because my name came up twice. And before going into tribal, I asked Alex, you know, are you okay with Bo? And Alex was like, yes. And I was like, okay, well, have you talked to him? Do you know who he's voting? And Alex said, Ian. And so I said, okay. And obviously that's not what happened because my name came up twice and Ian's name never came up. So after the challenge, I got in a room with Alex and Elijah and I said, do you guys know who voted for me? And they both were like, no, I didn't. And um, I said, well, Alex, you said that Bo was voting for Ian and he didn't what happened? And he said, I don't know. I guess he just changed his mind. So anyways, I feel like Bo and Alex voted together to try to get me out. And then they just lied to me about it, which is fine. That's the game. So now I just want Alex to go home. So I approached John and said, it needs to be Alex. And Kyle, I suppose, is on board with that. And now we're just trying to make Alex feel a little bit more comfortable so he doesn't use the shot in the dark. Right? He just up, Alex. I mean, I guess. <laughs> Better Elijah, I guess. Hey, Carrie. Can we vote out Alex? Yes. Why? Because I think he voted for me. He oh, did so vote for you. you. And he lied oh, yeah, to me. Carrie just, got the votes. Yes. Vote I just asked him. I followed him and Elijah to the other room. And I was like, do you guys know who voted for me? And he was nice. like, I don't know. I didn't. And I was like, okay, well, you told me Bo was voting for Ian. And Ian's name didn't come up. And he was like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe he switched. So I'm feeling like a little bit vengeful. I would imagine it's probably Alex. Uh, Carrie, <clears throat> Carrie wants to vote out Alex because Alex denied putting her name down for the vote. So I am not sure if anyone else's name is going to come out. But like, there's still that like inkling in the back of my head. Like that shot in the dark is Alex going to believe us that it's not him. Going into this tribal, I'm not feeling all that great considering I struggled heavily in two challenges in a row and then uh, got kidnapped from the tribe when they went to tribal council. So as far as the dynamics are going on this tribe, I have no idea. I really don't know if anybody is wanting to keep me right now, but the one name that I've heard is Alex. And if I can get everybody to vote for him and keep him from voting for me, I would consider that a success. Oh, I'm nervous. I could very well be going home if word spreads too fast. It's because of the vote last time because I voted for Carrie and nobody else did. And I think what ended up happening was like I was telling the rest of the guys to vote for Carrie and then Carrie came in and I was like, okay, cool. The vote's for Bo because Carrie was in there, but I don't think the other people got it. 
that that was like a cover up. So that didn't really work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, and now I'm just worried that like Carrie is going to a couple people. I told a couple people flat out that I voted for Carrie, but now I'm just worried that Carrie's going to find out and like use that against me. Mm -hmm. I think that in these games, a lot of times a travel council, people don't say anything. They're just very cagey and avoidant and they just say a lot of words, but the words don't mean anything. Um, and so I, I don't really anticipate it will make much of a difference if um, the other tribe is watching us. I don't, I don't think that there's going to be much information shared. <laughs> I love it. I love this How energy here. Did you get last time? What? Two, did you get two votes? I haven't. That was my first time to travel. But yeah, I got two votes. I got yeah. so I assume it was Bo and Alex. I mean, Kyle was with the other tribe last round. Yeah, and you and know he know? has an advantage, or he has at least a clue to an advantage, right? No, he oh. gave someone out. He gave someone else a clue. No, okay. Jay but literally did he get one too. Wait, what, Carrie? Jay thought, literally said Kyle now has two clues. Like, was that a slip up? Oh, did that happen? In oh, no, no, no. I think he was saying the second clue. Like, this is the second. I hope he comes in here. Alex? Yeah. Yeah, I do too. He didn't. He went. Oh, he did. He did. He's here. He's coming. Hey, hey. okay. Um, at Kyle just told us that like the women on the other tribe are like super tight so he's also worried about carrie and joining up with the women on the other tribe okay interesting yeah like just told us that like literally 40 like, seconds, ago. seconds ago yeah okay so like is that the plan this time then I mean, I, again, we don't have don't anything like, to go off of. Plan. We, haven't had, like, and we like, haven't had a time to get four people in a room together to solidify something. Yeah, and like, I mean, you told us, you, and obviously I was there, like, you voted for Carrie the first time. So, yeah, I, I don't like that at all. Not, 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 I don't like, not like women's alliances. I just don't like that they're this early in the game, like, super tight, so. Okay, like... I don't want, I didn't like, I don't want to be the one to like outright say it, but if we can get carry out, like from a selfish perspective, that would really help. Yeah. 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 For sure. No, I agree. No, yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Like Kyle's still over there. So I assume Kyle's trying to push that somehow, even well, though Kyle's in confessional right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Elijah and Carrie are together. So. Okay. So if we just, if we get a chance to talk to Kyle without those two. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if Elijah, like, is it best to keep Elijah out as well? I don't know. Hmm. What are we doing? So Alex, right? Yeah, I mean, I think we have two options. <laughs> Yeah, we do. I agree. Uh, Carrie immediately put Alex's name out there because he lied about voting for her. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, he Alex is also like trying to get Carrie too because Carrie threw out Bo's name. So, oh, yeah, that's good. That's good for us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, shot in the dark kind of changes stuff, but shot in the dark I makes me wonder if it makes more sense to go for a live show. Same. He's coming here. Hello. Okay. Yo. So. What do you think? Wait, what's happening? You oh, there? you're not frozen. Okay, okay. you're there, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can't hear you. Okay. Got it. We good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're okay. good. Yeah, I mean, uh, I guess Alex threw out Carrie's name again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again? Okay. Then, then yeah. I'm going to go for him because I want to I work yeah. with you guys and Carrie. It's, well, is that not what he said in the other room? I could have misinterpreted Elijah, but I felt like he said to us, like, I want to turn it around so I'm not the next person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and before you were in there, too, because, um, like, me, him, and John were in there at the beginning before John got pulled, um, he said that he wanted to target Carrie again. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear that because I just heard you, like, defending the last vote. 
Yeah, I was like, yeah, no, maybe here. Ooh, let's not, not yet. That makes me really nervous. <laughs> uh, I think they started to do that thing where like you jump to a breakout room and everyone's like, oh, hey, what's going on? And it's like, oh, they were just talking about me. So I don't know, a little paranoid, but we'll see what happens. I don't think that I needed this immunity, but I kind of regret um, being right there up at the end and not winning because it could paint a target on me when it comes to the merge. But overall, I just wanted to be competitive and try my best. So I'm happy with how it went. Feels good. Um, cannot believe Victoria went that long. Um, but I really felt like I didn't know if I needed it, but I couldn't take that chance because I got of it last time. And also, I think there's a good chance Victoria will be the one going out next. Um, so me, it, the main thing for me was making sure she didn't get it because I didn't want to take her off the table because that puts me and my closest allies in more danger if she's immune. Um, I don't know. I feel like socially, uh, Victoria, I think she's just a bit more quiet, but I'd like to think I'm pretty integrated in the tribe and that people wouldn't want to vote me anyway. But like I said, I think she's probably the easiest vote. Not, I don't have any specific reason to want her out, but I do think that's the easy vote. And I would like to go with the easiest possible vote right now because I need to guarantee me and my allies go into the merge unified. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. You think? That was your thing. Yeah. It, it does kind of sound like the merge might be, might be next. <laughs> So should we just like people? Well, I'm going to say I'm not going to put out either of your names or vote for either of you. Yeah. So I guess it kind of leaves like Lily and Gabby, and I yeah, think Lily I would prefer to keep Lily. So do I. Me too. I mean, so it, all we have to do is prevent like a shot in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Forgot about that already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got to go with the fact that I don't think anyone's ever won. And we we don't know if like Kyle gave Gabby whatever advantage that was. Right. Right. But, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm good. I'm with good with Gabby. Yeah. Okay. I'm good with Gabby, too. Okay, so we should go figure out what Gabby's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Make I'll, her feel um, good. I just was reminded that Shot in the Dark is available. <laughs> yeah. Which is, like, not my favorite twist. Uh, um, same here. At least it's only a one in six chance. Right. But I don't know. Who do you think would be, like, the easiest to get people on board with? I'm thinking Gabby would be the easiest to, for people to get on board with, but yeah. I don't, I don't know. I haven't really heard anything. I could see it being Gabby. I could honestly see it being Victoria. Just hey, look, I could see it being Victoria being kind of easy just because um, she wasn't very, she's just kind of quiet, you know? Yeah. Which I get like nothing is there. What are you guys thinking? I am a, what is it called? A nervous Nelly, an anxious Angie, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I think that I'm always going to think the vote's coming on me, which is fine. Um, it's just what happens when I play this game. But I don't, I think it's between Bill and Gabby right now. Is that how it's actually going to work out? I have no idea. I mean, I never feel good going into tribal council. I feel like I could receive votes only because... I am connected on the other side and it's not really a secret that I am. Um, people maybe not don't know how well connected I am on the other side, but um, that's, those are the kind of conversations we're starting to have right now of going into a merge. Who's the most dangerous. We were just talking about who would be like the easiest name to write down. Yeah. And I know. Cause are you oh. me about like who you're afraid of at the merge? Oh, I wasn't even thinking about at the merge because the merge is probably next, if not one after. Yeah. yeah. 
because after this we'll be at 10 yes yes yeah um yeah i guess we were talking about the easiest name versus like who would be at the merge yeah i know who do you think uh who do you think would be the best at challenges in the merge i don't know i mean I'm, i never know what these challenges like what it takes <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think Victoria's smart, but so is Bill. Mm -hmm. I, and Gabby's played a lot, so that might give her an advantage and that she's seen a lot of the challenges before. Right. I know. I I feel like with me, the the it's dumb luck, what I'm good at and what I'm not good at. I agree, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I feel like that's how these games are, unless you've like, I mean, but I don't know. People that are good at puzzles scare me, and I think all three of those, like Gabby, Bill, and Victoria, are good at puzzles. Yeah, I, don't, I don't, you know. I guess, I guess out of those two, yeah. I probably feel, I'd feel more, I guess I'd rather keep Bill around, but I'm open to whatever, like out of Bill and Victoria, because I feel like Bill is more likely to stick with us if we go into a merge. Yeah, I agree. Hey, Bill. Hey, Bill. I agree too. <laughs> good time, Bill. <laughs> At least he was good things. <laughs> yeah, good things. Uh, good, good things about you, Bill. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, I'm so glad we're alone here. Yeah. So they did mention both of your names. Yeah. So I was trying to be kind of subtle, but I was trying to mention Victoria's name just because I think that's probably the easiest thing to get traction. Yeah, no, I I would be there for that, but like if it has to be Victoria and we go to Rocks, like I would be going I would be fun going to Rocks, like to save to save Bill. Wait, are there five people after six? Six. Where is Lady and Cohen yeah, so, from, if I can ask? Still McKenna? Um, I think it was more Lily was surprisingly receptive to it. Um I think I'm, wait, who's her? Yeah, I think more Lily. But I think both of them are kind of on board, but I'm trying Interesting. to... I already told Matt and Wood at first, but like, I want to be final three with the two of you. Like, I want this to be the final three. Me too. I'm up. I just felt like I bonded with her as much. Okay. But I don't know. What, well, what, about, what about you? What do you want to do? Um... Part of me hates to do Victoria. King Gabby. What are you guys thinking? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I was a little disturbed when I walked into the room. <laughs> That's like what I've heard. <laughs> I think I'm okay. I'm pretty confident I'm okay tonight. Um, I feel pretty confident that uh, Victoria and Matt and Lily will have my back. Um, and McKenna seems amenable. So we'll see what happens. I hope so. I mean, unless I get big warning signals, um, I don't want to use it tonight. But... Uh, We'll see what happens. Like, right. I don't know. Like, I really haven't thought about that. I'm just more focused on surviving the vote because I'm not going to lie, I heard my name was out there. So it comes down to it. I am ready to go to rocks if it comes down to it. I ain't scared about right, that. You. Here you guys are, tribal council. You guys just went to the last one and you know, we throw a twist out there and it's a double. Uh, Ian, you want immunity. How does that feel? And were you expecting that at all? Um... I mean, people surprise you in, in these games, right? Like, I'm excited that I won immunity. I've played one game before and I only competed in one individual challenge and didn't win. So, yeah, I, uh, it's pretty cool to like have the so uh, the metaphoric uh, immunity necklace on. But let me tell you, I those other 
the people on the other drive are fucking crazy, man. Those people are nuts. <laughs> Al, literally, Alex dropped, and I was like, like, uh, I, I think I could go a little longer, but at the same time, I was shaking a little bit, and I, I didn't know if that was health related or like just I'm tired related. So, yeah, I dropped out, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's cool to have immunity for sure. Yeah, I mean, I think it's about six extra minutes by time to crack that. I don't know um, exactly, but um. All right. So with that being said, uh, um, Kyle, you know, this game's evolving really quicker. Um, something interesting. Um, no one's played a shot in the dark yet. Do you think that means everything's blind sides or do you think people are just thinking they have the numbers and aren't really quite sure and not risking their votes? What do you think it is? You think it's a mixture of both? I'd say it's more so the second one. I think that, uh, you know, your vote is so important in this game, not just for numbers purposes, but for trust purposes, is that you can show people who you're voting for. And not having a vote is really scary because you never know how that could have mattered if you go home because of it. Um, so I would say just the, the fear of losing the vote and the really bad odds, um, that's the main reason why. Carrie, okay, um um, last time we were at Travel here, um, there wasn't really no, any talk of Advantage or Idols being out there. Um, has that came up in the scramble? Has there been planning around that? How's that working out for your tribe? Um, no one's really talked much about it. I mean, we don't really know who has been given the clues. And as far as we know, there aren't any like other hidden things happening. I've been looking at everyone's names to see if there's like any idol clues happening and I haven't seen anything. And so I guess really like the only um, advantages out there are like the clues that have been given from the people who were kidnapped. Um, but there really hasn't been too much talk about it. So I don't know. All right. Elijah, so you now this vote, their dynamics shifting numbers again, you guys are in smaller tribes, it's shifting. Um, what is this vote about for you going it's about trusting going forward. It's about trying to keep numbers. What, how are you feeling with this? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is trust uh, most of the time, not all the time. And so, you know, you just have to get with some people that you think you can trust. Um, and I guess just show you're loyal and just hope to move forward with them. All right. Um, and Alex, this game's evolving. There can be more twists coming forward. Is your strategy on who you're voting tonight um, related to that or who you can trust moving forward? What, um, or is it more so a strategic play at this time? Uh, um, it's tough to say, you know, because it's so early on um, and, you know, we've only had really a maximum of five hours to get to know each other. So it is kind of hard to see who you can trust. So I guess this would be based off of strategy and just, you know, who would I want to be in the game with further, I guess. All right, yeah. If anyone else is good, I'm good. All right, again, I will remind you that anyone wants to play Shot in Dark, you must tell me when you come into your voting confessional and you abstain from voting. My handwriting is really messy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm voting Alex. Um, Alex voted for me, and so I am returning the favor. Hello. I am tired of coming to Tribal Council. I'll get used. You might have to get used to it. Who knows? I expect to uh, be here all soon again. Um, so again, people are literally giving me reasons not to target the people I already know. So throwing out three names in the last two rounds. All right. All right. Uh, oh, I'm nervous about this one, but I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna place my trust in what I was told and I'll vote for Carrie. Uh, there is, I, there is a very real chance that Carrie got to them first uh, and wants to vote me out, but if that ends up uh, happening, then so be uh, it. But hopefully, hopefully this yeah, works out. I'll go tell the votes.
if anybody has an advantage or a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. All right, I'll read the votes. Person voted out will be asked to leave the Zoom call immediately. First vote, Spirit Alex. Second vote is for Carrie. That's one vote, Alex, one vote, Carrie. Alex, that's two votes, Alex, one vote, Carrie. Alex, that's three votes, Alex, one vote, Carrie. First per, er, fourth person vote out of Survivor Yag Yagong Island, Alex. The tribe, is the tribe has spoken. Thank you All for right. playing. Well played, guys. Good luck. Alex. Well. Shayu. Unanimous vote. Maybe you guys unified. Hopefully you can say that together. I'm not completely surprised, but like, oof. Thought I, I was hoping I would do better, you know. Let's see. When, they, when I came back in and they were like, I, I, I got the same vibes of like, they were just talking about me. Uh, and then they said something about like, oh, all the girls are really tight on their side. Um, and in my head, I was, in my head, like once I got to tribal, I was like, how would he know if they're tight if they weren't alone? Uh, so I was considering playing my shot in the dark, but I, I just took a chance. I was hoping uh, everything was good there, but uh, oh well, it's all good. All right. Well, had fun. Um, again, wish I did better, but you know, I'm happy with at least how far I got and how good I was able to do it. Where the challenges are. Uh, best of luck to the people left, and uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Here you are at Tribal Council. So, a um, little bit interesting twisty throughout there for you guys. Um, ultimately, you guys got to. Um, Watch the other tribes tribal council, witness who they voted out. So, uh, McKenna, how do you feel about that? Does it give any vibes off? Are you curious what went on? Were you feeling that out? Um, it's definitely interesting to see, be able to see who goes and then follow immediately with a vote of our own. Um, I think it's information you keep in your pocket, not necessarily immediate, an immediate feeling from it. Okay, um, and, all right, so Bill, you know, we uh, throw this out for here for you. You guys got to compete in that challenge. What exactly are you feeling after this? Is like, oh, what is this twist? Is it like, what else are you guys going to throw at us? What are you uh, feeling? Yeah, it's, it's, y'all are, are very smart and very evil. So I would expect uh, another couple of twists as ugly as this one. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's what you throw at us. This one is an unfortunate one because given our collective performance in the challenge, uh, had it been a team challenge, we'd have been sitting back in camp getting fat and happy, but that's just not the way things are. There's always something else. There you go. Um, with that, Matt, you have individual immunity. How excited does that make you feel? Um, does it change anything, do you think? Do you think you're in trouble? How do you feel about that moving forward? I mean, I might have been. Um, I got one vote last time. I don't know that that's really going to matter since that person is no longer in the game. Uh, but, I mean, this is a long game. It's going to be like 13, 14 hours. So it's uh, kind of nice just to be able to relax a little bit this round. Um, but at the end of the day, I still have to vote for somebody, and I really am not going to feel happy about voting anybody in this tribe. So I really like everyone in this tribe, and I would have liked if we could have all just gone to the marriage together. Um, Gabby, you have yet to been here. You got kidnapped the first time you guys were here. You know, how do you feel this being your first tribal council? Um, going into it. I mean, from what I'm hearing, the last tribal was pretty unanimous, so I don't know if there was much opportunity to really draw lines there from what I'm hearing. And, like, yeah, it's just like, 
everyone seems like so nice and like what Matt said, like it's gonna suck voting anyone out because I really like all of y'all. Yeah. All right, um, Victoria, you were right there at the mini challenge. Uh, were you fighting for it? Did you feel like you needed it or you just kind of, you know, just seeing how you felt and just like, no, I'm gonna go for it. I want to win the banish for a try. Um, I think that I just wanted to see how long I could last because I haven't gotten the opportunity to do a wall sit with some stakes, um, but it wasn't necessarily because I felt particularly in danger. Lily, what is this spoken and title? Do you think this good book can get weird? What are you feeling? How is you feeling the vibe about this vote? Uh, I think it's hard to not feel like it could go weird in a mini. I mean, you're never going to feel safe going into a vote, especially when you only have like a shortened time to talk about it. But I think a lot of people are starting to look long term in what they think of threats. Um, so I think that'll be interesting to see what everybody kind of puts an importance on, I guess. All right. Fair enough. With that being said, everyone's got a question. Anything else anyone wants to get out there? Just shout. Uh, McKenna, did I ask you a question? I got you right in the beginning, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, with that being said, Okay, this isn't necessarily who I want to go home, but I think this is maybe where majority is. Um, so yeah, really great getting to know her. Wish she could have stayed longer. No. I hate this, but it's just been a little bit too weird about it, Victoria. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't run anything over here. All right. Thank you, Bill. Go ahead. I'm voting for Gabby. This is nothing personal, but I've just heard several names going around, including mine. So I'm just going with what I hope to be the majority. Go ahead and cast your vote. And get me, I'm muted, by the way. I said I have a question. Can I play my shot in the dark and someone else? No. Mm. Uh, this vote is so hard. Uh, okay. I really didn't want to vote in space now. I'll go get the votes. If anybody has an advantage or a hidden immunity idol and you'd like to play it, now would be the time to do so. Jay? Yes? I'm having some trust issues. Are you? And so I'd rather dump this now than take it home with me. All right. I'm going to play my idol. You're going to be playing on yourself? Yes. All right. I can confirm. If Bill did find the Fichu idol, any votes cast against Bill will not count. First vote, Victoria. Second vote, Gabby. Victoria, that's two votes, Victoria. One vote, Gabby. Gabby, that's two votes, Gabby. Two votes, Victoria. Gabby, that's three votes, Gabby. Two votes, Victoria. One vote left. Fifth person vote out of Sever, Yagong Island. Gabby. Gabby, thank you so much for playing. Yeah. Uh, go to special one. The tribe yeah, is spoken. That's right. Someone flipped. Interesting. And good game. Hope one of you wins. I don't know who, but like Bill or Matt, one of those two shade, one of those two shady people flipped. 
Because we supposedly had a final three and clearly someone wasn't keeping it. Honestly, I don't know. It's a tough one because they're both sneaky sneaky. So, I would guess I would say Bill, probably. Not much. Nah, I mean, I knew I knew my name was getting thrown out there, so I wasn't blindsided. Sweet. I had a good time. 